Alexandro Maria Tirelli, the president of Italy's Criminal Chambers of European and International Law, that group that penned the letter that, to the Russian leadership we just mentioned there. Now, Italy is a long-standing member of the European Union, and yet you say the bloc has essentially let your country down. Why? Uh, yes, but the point is, you know, a budget problem, I think, because uh, you must understand that, that, that government put, well, Europe put on the plate just only $25 billion, and Germany is using more or less 800. This is the comparison, so you can understand very well the reason why the Italians pay taxes are, are, are not very, very happy, because Italians now are aware to pay all the time very high taxes to this to you know to the central europe and we are completely aware that in case of need we don't uh, receive uh, almost anything so we are in a very very big problem uh, i think that we are facing up uh, a very tough uh, constitutional crisis this is a part that um, the pol well, the, 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 maybe the international war is not very well understanding, but the, the constitution, the Italian constitution, the material constitution, the assets itself of the government is under crisis. Uh, it's a very delicate moment. I think the most delicate moment in the history, history of Italy in general and surely after the Second World War. So this is uh, out of discussion. As our correspondent was just detailing, China has sent its medical experts to Italy and now Russia is offering to lend a helping hand as well. How come is it that there's these faraway countries having to come to Italy's aid and not its close allies? Well, the point is that, I tell you the truth, well, China uh, had, we can say, a little responsibility or felt this responsibility, so send one million masks and equipment. So in, in a certain sense, China uh, had this, uh, we can say, liability. We can define it. Um, I must be express my thankfulness to the to the, Fed the Russian Federation because in, we we directed to the Russian Federation because we understood that Europe was not, you know, a very trustful partner. This is the this is the reality. And I have the very clear provision that uh, um, Italy could be the second uh, country after UK to move out from uh, from uh, European Union. I just want to tell you one thing, if you give me the opportunity, because I want to send a message to the President Putin, and just um, I would like to point uh, his attention to help more southern Italy than northern Italy, because it's very hard to tell it, but I can say that the health situation of northern Italy, especially Lombardia, is lost for letter, L-O-S-T. I think there is no way out in Lombardia, no way out. We have maybe, and I say, I repeat, maybe, the possibility to save southern Italy, but the infection is so spread away in northern Italy. I think very, very, we have no way to to turn on the situation. Absolutely. Alexandro Maria Torelli, the president of Italy's Criminal Chambers of European and International Law. Thank you for your time and your comments. Thank you. Bye.